Welcome ladies and gentlemen to today's video and today it is the reaction and review of episode 1 of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. If I look tired, I kind of am, but not, just, I always make this video and I'm going to do it. Um, this episode was <coughs> a very strong start to the series. I don't feel like it could have been improved upon that much. Um, definitely had a big shock at the end of the episode. Even though we kind of saw it coming, we just didn't know when. Um, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But before we get started, um, yesterday, night one of the WWE draft, we lost and it was posted as a stream. So, go watch that or not. Top right, I think. But yeah, let's get into it. Um, <coughs> start off with Bucky ironing. Uh, obviously, people think Iron Man. And then we see not Bucky, um, Sam. And pretty much after that, we see Sam with the shield over here, uh, the line. That they were talk that Steve and Sam said to each other, and Falcon and Winter Soldier. Um, Sam says, in his head, feels like it's put along to someone else. It doesn't. But in Sam's head, it still does feel like it belongs to Steve. But, I mean, this is pretty much Bucky and Sam trying to get over the events of Endgame. And that's it with this episode. That's what the basis is. But, um,. Obviously, these episodes are gonna be like forty to five to fifty minutes long, which I which I think is good, because it can fully flesh out these characters that haven't had much fleshing out. Um. Obviously, Sam rejects Steve's request to become the new Captain America, hence giving up the shield to Smithsonian. Um. Uh. After that, I think it's after that, um, Sam goes on a mission to save someone. Um, and we see Torres, I can't remember his first name, but um, yeah, um, we see Torres helping out Sam, tell him he has to rescue this person, but he's not allowed to go past Libyan airspace which I don't know why but I mean what can you do um, yeah uh, obviously Sam saves him um, and we see Red Wing returning uh, his little buddy um, so, I also it's a. If you look through it throughout, it looks like, um, or it sounds like a bird version of R two D two. Every time Sam was talking to it, it made little cute bird sounds, which I agreed with. Um, obviously, the choreography we knew would be top tier, but it's fucking amazing. Um, just the aggressiveness aggressiveness of all this throughout um, obviously Sam saves a person uh, by blowing up the helicopter but he saves the person Batroc returns and flies in saves the person 
blows up the thing, but just as it blows up, the truck flies out and is still alive. So we'll see what happens to him in the next couple of episodes. Um, we see Bucky try to make amends, and we see the three rules. Nothing illegal, no one gets hurt, and the third one, his name is Bucky Barnes, he's no longer the Winter Soldier, and he's trying to make amends. And we see him try that on one of the senators that he got into office in the US, and after Hydra disbanded, she used to, well, she just kept on abusing her power. So, obviously that ain't gonna look great. So, Bucky puts a, I think a tracking device or something that able to move the car under the top right wheel. And he moves it, knocks out the dude that's in the car with her, said the line, please come in, arrest her. After that, um, I think we see, no, before that, we see Bucky have a nightmare of when he used to be the Winter Soldier, and obviously we hear the music of the Winter Soldier, which to me is one of the best music pieces in Marvel. Um, obviously we see him sleeping on the floor, which if you remember Captain America the Winter Soldier at the start um, Steve and Sam went through the similar thing sleeping on the floor when they were out fighting but when they came home they slept in the bed and it felt like they could sink right through so this tells me Bucky is still fighting himself uh, Bucky helping out I can't remember his name the old man, um, I can't remember his name. Uh, what's the bastard's name called? Um, you know, I'm just going to call him the old man. My cat. Oh, no. Let me sort of uh, a second. Well, sorry about that. Uh, the old man that Bucky hangs out with asked his pretty last on a date for him she said yeah um, and obviously Bucky goes on that date to where she works about 10pm ish and we can see that Bucky could drink pretty well hold on Sorry about her, she's just being annoying at the moment. She'll be there for the rest of the video, so if you want to look her, go ahead. But, um, we can see that Bucky can drink pretty well because he himself and Steve are immune to the alcohol making them drunk because of the serum. Um, after this, when she starts talking about the uh, man's son, Hold on. I'm going to try and find this out. Yori. Um, he starts talking about Yori and how his son died. Um, the book he dashes off to his apartment and figures out that he killed Yori's son and we see Bucky with a list of names just like Steve had in The Winter Soldier but with stuff to do but this is Bucky's amends and we see Yori's name so he's tried to make amends for killing his son but because he prides his relationship with him, he can't tell him. And that's the end of the Bucky Barnes section of the episode. We were about to Sam Wilson, um, trying to help out the 
family fishing business um, but they're pretty much going under so they want to sell the boat um, Sam does not want to because family legacy and all that um, after that um, Sam goes to the bank with his sister and has some food which they're going to sell um, to some people don't know who um, they get denied but the banker recognises who Falcon is and just keeps obsessing over him bit of a bastard to be honest uh, if I do say so myself but after that they go arguing some more Sam trying to be the hero for everyone not just the universe but trying to be a hero at home as well for his family um, and then the plot twist Sam's sister puts on the radio well puts on the news and we see the United States government brings out a new Captain America now there's many rumours what happened to the original Captain America which we saw Torres ask Sam about earlier in the episode like did he go to the moon or something which could be plausible but not really Sam says that's not true um, obviously when Sam handed in the shield we saw John Don Cheadle as Rhodey return and asked Sam why he didn't take up the mantle to Sam says that it doesn't belong to him or it feels like someone else's and that someone else is Steve but the US government didn't want him to return it to put it on some history for some history lesson they wanted him to return it to make a new Captain America and the choice of the person I don't think it was an overnight thing this was a thing planned for a long time because I mean you gotta think whilst Cap was under ice for like 70 years who would have been new Captain America at that point so obviously this is a plan that is very very high up but the episode ends off with Sam just looking distraught and in pain and angry at the people he serves which that's the episode for you so if I had to rate this out of 10 I think I would give it a 7 pretty strong start to the series strong start um, it was just there I feel like the more episodes come in there's only 6 episodes by the way um, but the more episodes that come in the more this will go to pecking order it's just there it was a good start good build up and yeah I am excited for what comes next and I'm going to be gutted if this goes the way that WandaVision did but that's my review of uh, Falcon at Winter Soldier episode 1 New World Order I hope you guys enjoyed um, if you want to like and subscribe please do I would greatly appreciate your support um, But besides from that, check out the stream yesterday with me and Oscillator. It was pretty fun. Uh, night one went pretty tragically. Uh, I'll give you a spoiler now to what happened. There you go. There's your spoiler. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time taking out of today or tomorrow or whenever it is for you out there. But thank you so much for watching. By Jedi, Sith, or whatever you want to be. Friends, day or night. It's been Boy Shadow Hunter.
off into the shadows. Take care and peace.